In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the top spring and summer shoe trends for 2020. I'm also gonna be sharing with you guys my top picks If you're new here, hi, my name is Chi Chi, and on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then you are in the right place. Keep on watching. And of course, if you're interested in anything that I mention, any pics that I share, links to everything will be in the description box down below. So the first trend I wanna talk about is definitely the strappy slash wrap sandal trend. This trend was seen all over. This is like one of, to me, this is one of the most wearable trends and it's actually a personal favorite. This is a trend that has kind of been trickling in for the last two or so years. Now, if you're following me on Pinterest or you're following me on Instagram, you know that one of the trends that we've been seeing sort of like flowing around is the whole pant with the little wrap around it. So this trend kind of goes hand in hand with that trend where you put on like a menswear trouser and then you take a sandal and then you wrap it around the ankle. So this trend is all about really highlighting the ankle. It's all about the ankle. And this is, to me, is one of the more wearable trends for spring and summer 2020. Now, in my own personal stash, I have this pair that I picked up last year. As you guys can see, there is enough of this here to wrap all the way to my knee. And it's very, very strappy. It has a little crisscross in front. But this trend is very, very in. It's very, very now. Um, and I feel like this, I, last I checked, this was still available and it was like 50% off. So I'll definitely link it for you down below. But even if this is not available, I'll link others for you. And this is the from the wide width section from ASOS. So if you have wider feet, I actually ended up sizing down in this. I normally wear an 11 and the 11 was too big. So I got a size 10. And there's so many options. I want to at least pick up two others um, for myself and not like in, and for me, not necessarily in neutral colors, but in pop of colors, I'm looking for an orange, maybe a blue. I already have this, you know, highlighter color or purple, just, or red, just something not your typical browns and black. You can totally get in those colors. Um, but I feel like they really make a statement when they come in a bright color. So I actually found a very similar pair to these. They're actually a flat sandal at Nordstrom. And right now Nordstrom is doing 25% off. And I think people are losing their minds because Nordstrom never does a sale. And I love Nordstrom for my girls who wear extended sizes. If you can, if you can, this is the time to go ham okay because again Nordstrom sales, Nordstrom never does a sale. They're doing 25% off shoes and they have size 11, size 12, and these like very on-trend styles that you hardly ever, one, find in your size or find what well, hardly ever I find in my size um, because anytime I find these shoes, they always have size 11 or 12 sold out um, and then they're rarely ever on sale. So I found a pair. It's called the Marina Lace-Up Sandal from Mark Fisher and it's currently 25% off. I will also link to other similar ones because I saw some on a bunch on DSW and DSW is offering 30% off right now until the 22nd as well. Whoa, that got really bright. I have a bunch saved in my cart, y'all. They trying to make people spend money. <laughs> the next trend that I want to talk to you guys about is going to be the mule trend. I feel like this trend was solidified because of the Bo Bottega Veneta um, runway. Like Bottega Veneta, I, you know, I've known about Bottega Veneta for a long time. They seem to have, have been super popular in the 90s and they were kind of like dying. But honey, can I say that they have fully reinvented themselves, okay? One of the top trends right now for um, spring, summer, this year has been the um, pouch bag from Bottega Veneta and their mule sandals as well as their fishnet sandals. Like all of the it girls are popping up with these shoes and these bags and they are making a killing. So the um, basket or weave or slash quilted um, mule they have super made super popular and is one of the bigger trends for spring and summer. So they 
that wide sort of like cut out in, um, in the toe box area plus the structural heel. Um, that is all Bottega Veneta. And of course, you know, you could spend, I don't know, 600 or 1200, however much for those mules, or you can go on the high street or, um, Steve Madden has a great option called the Mr. Big. I believe it's Steve Madden that has them called the Mr. Big one that is very similar. Basically it's the same shoe for a whole lot less. And of course I will link some, a bunch of other options for because places like, Ego, um, um, Public Desire, you name it. Everybody is making a version of this mule. So you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. There's another shoe that I saw that to me kind of marries several trends together. And that is the Steve Madden Scorpius sandal. It has the structural heel. It also is very strappy. It also ties around the ankle. And if you're on a budget, I would suggest maybe investing on a pair of shoes that kind of touches on a couple of the trends in one. So how do you feel about the Bottega? <laughs> okay, let's not call it the Bottega trend because I technically other other brands are are you know tapping into the mule trend how do you feel about the mule trend are you for it against it have you picked up a pair let me know in the comments below so I want you guys to keep on watching because I'm going to share with you a hack okay for shopping your closet for spring and summer shoe trends so if you're on a budget if you're kind of scared about spending money right now because of all that's going on I have a really good hack for you so make sure to continue to stay tuned. Now the next trend that's kind of big and it's one of, I think it's like the this year's version of the ugly um, dad sneaker and that is going to be the Tiva slash dad sandal trend. So I saw this last year and I feel like it's a hybrid between sort of like the sporty athleisure vibe and like a flat form and you put them together and you have a baby. So it's basically a Tiva, but with an additional sole to make it like very sporty, very dad, a very dad sneaker-esque. And now the go-to sort of slash the it girl way to style a shoe like this is to pair it with feminine pieces and girly pieces. So let me know in the comments how you're feeling about this trend. Are you for it? Are you against it? Or are you gonna try the dad sandal trend? Now you can find a lot of different people doing this trend. If you love Tevas, Teva has their own version of this trend. If you're going into more high end, Chanel has a version of now has a version of this trend. Uh, I think Louis Vuitton has a version of this trend. Lord child, y'all forgive me if you can hear anything. I don't know, I thought we were in a quarantine, but it seems to be super busy outside today. Um, so if you can hear it, I'm sorry. Personally, I would not splurge on this, but if you got it like that and you wanna splurge, if you feel it's something that you're gonna rock all summer long, then totally do. It's a super comfortable trend. I mean, if you're going, I don't know, everybody's plans are up in the air, but you know, if you, you know, gonna be doing a lot of walking around or, you know, being a tourist, um, it's a really comfortable trend to try. However, it's, in my opinion, it's, to me, it's very trendy. So if it's not something that you're gonna lock in, I'm not gonna spend a lot, I personally wouldn't spend a lot of money on it. So the next trend I wanna talk about, to me, kinda goes hand in hand with the strappy sandal trend and the wraparound sandal trend, but, um, I feel like it deserves its own category and that is a, the thong sandal or the tong, thong, tong. I can't say that word, but you know what I'm talking about. That sandal, right? Flip flops, basically flip flops, Havanas. Havanas with heels, okay? Havanas with heels. That is everywhere right now. You could do it alone. You could do a sandal version that wraps around your ankle. I've seen this everywhere. I've seen this on Shoe Dazzle. I've seen this in more high end places like Nordstrom, DSW. Everyone has a version of this tong sandal or thong sandal trend. So um, if you want to buy into it, I'm going to leave a bunch of options for you down below. It's super easy. You could actually call it a mule because you, you slide your feet in it. 
unless you get the sandal version of this trend. I've seen so many versions, like a really cute, um, in baby pink, in blue, black of course, in like a clear version with a white base. So there are definitely a lot of options out there for this trend. And I think this is something you would get a lot of wear out. I wouldn't spend $500 on it, but I would spend around, a, you know, anything between like 25 and 100 to me is reasonable. Um, for this trend, especially if you're gonna buy a sandal versus just like a, a mule. How are you feeling about the upgraded Havana trend? Like, I could have sworn this trend was definitely popping sometime in the 90s or early 2000s. Let me know in the comments below. I don't know about who, I don't know who decided this, but the fashion gods have shined on our faces, okay? Because most of these trends that I'm seeing this year when it comes to shoes are very comfortable or very low heeled. So if you're someone who has like, is flat footed or just can't do really high heels, this is the season for you. Because like I said, most of these um, shoe trends are all in the kitten heel slash flat form kind of department. Very comfortable. So. Kudos to the designers, okay? Kudos to you. The trend I wanna talk about, of course, is going to be the flat form trend, which kind of, again, ties into the Trekkers trend or the or the dad sandal trend. But, you know, we're seeing that in various things. We're seeing that in boots via, via lug soles. And we're seeing that, of course, in the sandals. We're seeing that in sneakers, like an espadrille, like sneaker that's a flat form. I have a very good, um, so this is what we're talking about here. This is like a flat form. And a flat form basically means that the base on the bottom is straight. There is no angle. It's perfectly straight. So that's what you get. I have, you know, we're seeing that in sneakers. You're seeing that in like regular espadrille styles. If you're interested in that, I will link them for you down below. Now there's so many other trends that are popping up in the shoe arena, but I think these top five trends really are the most wearable and the most accessible. Now I did want to add like a bonus, which is not necessarily a trend, but a shape. So square toes are really in right now. And honestly, I'm not that much of a square toe just because I have really big feet and I feel like the squareness makes my feet look bigger. However, if you're buying into a lot of these trends, you will notice that what really differentiates the styles that are coming out right now versus the styles that came out a year or two ago is going to be the shape of the front and it's gonna be that it's more of a square toe. And if you were to tap into any of the trends like the Bottega trend, those mules always come with the front square toe and a lot of the wrap sandals that we're seeing out right now that have come out this year also come out with the square toe. Now, I promised you guys that I would share a hack for, you know, shopping your closet, especially if you're not really, you know, you're a little bit hesitant about spending a lot of money right now. And that is to look at the color trends for this season. So some of the top color trends for this season are orange and different shades of blue. Again, if you want um, a roundup of the top wearable trends for this season, make sure to check out my spring 2020 trends guide. I will put a link to it down below. You want to basically look in your closet and see if you have shoes that match those top color trends. Now for me personally, I love orange and it's one of the top color trends. So I looked in my wardrobe and I noticed that I have this orange, these orange pumps. So of course I'm going to be rocking the heck out of these all spring and summer. They're gonna be a great way for me to shop my closet and infuse some of the spring and summer trends without spending a single dollar. So comment below, let me know which one of these trends you're most interested in. Are you here for the Bottega Veneta fishnet mules that I'm seeing popping up everywhere? At first I was like, ew, but then now I'm seeing so many people wear it. I'm just like, maybe I don't hate it. Especially love the whole chain detail. Think that looks super sexy on the foot. I'm just wondering what it will look like on someone like me who has like size 11 feet. Now, don't forget that links to everything that I talk about and all of the options, high plus low, will be linked for you in the description box below. So if you're looking to level up, develop, or improve your style in 2020, then what are you waiting for? All you have to do is subscribe 
now guys i'm absolutely not going anywhere you can meet me down below in the comments and we can chit chat some more about spring summer 2020 trends and of course the top shoe trends as well i would love to know which trends you've already bought into for spring and summer 2020 especially when it relates to shoes and i would also love to know how you are actually doing so i just want to take this moment to kind of just spread some love and some positivity to my community um i'm hoping that all of you are okay now i'm of, of course filming this ahead of time so i don't know you know what might have transpired by the time I make this video and by the time I post this video, but I'm hoping that it is all for the better. If you know of any resources that you can share, definitely leave it down below. I'm a mom to a 13 year old and it's been interesting trying to keep Alex off his game. So I'm gonna share some resources. I'm gonna write a blog post, share some resources about things that I'm doing or planning on doing. But after this first week, I was like, he can't be on his game 24 seven, brah. So I'm gonna be sharing some stuff um that i'm doing or planning on for more on spring summer 2020 trends make sure to check out this video and if you're looking for spring outfit ideas from whenever we're allowed to leave the house then make sure to check out this video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed